I welcome all of you watching this personal protective equipment PPE tutorial specially made for all Bevel employees as a part of our COVID-19 preparedness program. I am Dr. Santosh Jacob, orthopedic surgeon from Bevel Chennai. I hope all of you understand that this tutorial is extremely important for each one of you who is working in a hospital because this video is a practical lesson on how to wear the PPE. This is part one. Part two will feature how to remove the PPE safely. Another thing I would like to mention is about being careful of not touching the mask and washing hands regularly. Remember, personal protective equipment is your shield against the coronavirus. So please pay attention and learn the techniques to keep yourself and your family safe. Thanking you, Dr. Santosh Jacob. Bevel Hospital's Personal Protective Equipment Tutorial Always first keep your personal belongings in a safe place. Once you have kept it, check that your pockets are empty. Make sure all the protective gear and your hand hygiene is within your reach before you start wearing your personal protective equipment. It is not good for you to keep walking when you start wearing the personal protective equipment. You should be in one place. This is a demonstration of hand hygiene by Satish, our theatre staff. As you can see, you have to take precaution that every crevice, every part of your hand, the inner aspects of your palm, the nails, the thumb, both sides of the wrist are completely cleaned. Now, step one, perform hand hygiene thoroughly. Clean all parts of your hand and the person who is guiding the PPE wearing individual has to observe and okay the procedure. Next, once you complete your hand hygiene, take your shoe covers, which is the first part of your PPE, sit down and pull your shoe covers on up to the level of the knee. Adjust the shoe covers on your shoes so that you are able to walk and you do not trip. The shoe covers should not have any tears or holes in them and go up to your knee. Wear your inner gloves after performing hand hygiene. So now you have your shoe covers and your gloves on. Step 4. Wear your mask and be prepared to wear the bodysuit. Sit down. Now, the assistant will show the bodysuit for us to see. There is a hood which covers the head and a zip. Now, the assistant should hold the bodysuit and hand it to you when you are sitting down. Wear the bodysuit as you would wear a pant and then Pull up the legs of the bodysuit till they come over your shoe and rest on your ankle. Wear the rest of the bodysuit like a shirt. Make sure you zip the bodysuit up to your neck so that it covers till your mask and then put the hood and cover your head. After this, you will have to make sure and check all your movements because in the ICU you will have to bend down, stretch and do a lot of things. Your personal protective gear should still be intact. The next step is to wear your eye protection. As you can see, only the eyes of uh, the staff is exposed. So use your goggles, place it under, inside your head cover and close your eyes. Now if you see, every part is completely covered. 
after this wear a second pair of gloves with a different color so that you can see if there is any tear. Step 9 would be final observation. This is the job of the observer to make sure that the protection equipment is not torn in any place. Once this is done, perform hand hygiene and get to work. I hope this was informative. Please watch this video again and again and learn the techniques. Thank you.